Hello and welcome to Profitable version 5. In today's video, I'm going to be running you through the newest and most up-to-date version of the Profitable platform and showing you all the features we have and how it can help you with your Amazon FBA business. So here at Profitable, we have a few parts and this is what I'm going to be running you through today. So we have our welcome call, our FBA course, our account manager, our Discord community, our Profitable web portal, our Chrome extension, our mobile apps, which is iOS and Android, and then our deal finder. So let's jump into it by starting off with our welcome call. So we do have a onboarding welcome call, which will just run you through the platform and it is quite similar to this really. It's just gonna give you a full run through of all the features and just show you how everything works. When you are starting Amazon FBA, it can all feel a little bit overwhelming. So this is all just to make your life a little bit easier. You can join this with on-demand access, so anytime you want to view it, and you can also reach out to our support for any questions you may have. So that is our welcome call. The next part is our FBA course. So we do have a free FBA course, which we provide to all profitable customers. This includes a web version and also a video Video version as well depending on how you like to learn so this is going to take you from the basics setting up your Amazon seller account sending in your first products finding your first deal analyzing your first deal all the core things you need to get set up and selling you do get this email to you automatically when you do get when you do first sign up to profitable but you can also reach out to our support if you haven't received it but this is all just to make your life as easy as possible and give you the greatest chance of success and then next up leading on really Really is the account manager so all profitable members do have their very own account manager so our account managers will reach out to you every couple of weeks just to see how you're getting on ask if you need any help you can ask some questions they can get them answered for you and this is all about what profitable is for it's all just to help you succeed on Amazon it really is what profitable was built for we just want to see our users become successful so that is the account manager and then we have our discord community so you get a link to join our discord when you first sign up this is what it's called the eBay Amazon community and this is what you're going to see when you first join our community so it's a fantastic place to learn there's almost 5,000 members in here it is split with our sister software Delato, but you'll find the Amazon section just down here we do some great features like our deal of a day this is where we send in one to two deals Monday to Friday to all of our customers for free just to give them inspiration on the types of deals out there we do this for both the UK and the US and it is a really really active chat it is brilliant people posting their results and it is just a great place to learn if you are new to Amazon FBA the hardest part about it is just learning the many aspects of selling on Amazon it really can be quite daunting so having the option to chat to other people who have gone through similar things really is quite amazing so that's all the initial steps when signing up so the welcome call the FBA course for discord and the account manager we're now going to run you through the actual profitable platform so we're going to to start off with the web portal then going to go through the chrome extension then the mobile app and then we're going to talk about deal finder so here we are in a testers account and we're starting off on the dashboard page so first up you can just start with your getting started journey so this is going to take you through the different steps of amazon fba so step two book an onboarding call you can mark this as complete step three you can then join our discord then you can set up your amazon seller account and you'll find there's videos for each of these steps these are all the key points of your amazon fba journey so it's really important just to have a look at these and they should help you massively when you do first get started now just below this we do have an affiliate scheme at profitable where anyone you refer you get 20% of the subscriptions that is obviously totally optional to use but that is just below the dashboard page just there now moving on to the track page so this is our deal analyzer so how people analyze their FBA deals now we'll be coming back to this when we run through the Chrome extension and the mobile app so please don't think we're skipping this we will be coming back to this later on we will show you all about analyzing your deals and all the features that profitable does have underneath you'll see the scan function so this is if you're on your mobile phone however most people will use our mobile apps it allows you to scan a product's barcode it will just load up the camera on your phone then you have your save scans function just here so you can save deals you can write notes about it 
you can give them a rating and then you can review them later on. Then you have scan history, which does exactly how it sounds. It's just gonna show you all the products you've previously scanned and put them in a list. This is quite helpful if you're doing things like retail arbitrage and you wanna find the products later on. Underneath we have a deal finder portal. So we'll have a whole section on deal finder. You can find all the timeframes in the description if you do wanna to skip to anything, if you are just interested in deal finder. So make sure to head down to the description. So we will be coming back to this. Then we have our, what a wholesale scanner allows you to do is scan a wholesalers or manual manufacturers product feed so lots of wholesalers lots of manufacturers or suppliers will have a csv file with all of their products in now typically what you'd have to do is you'd have to go through the file one by one trying to find out the amazon fba deals but what you can do with the profitable wholesale scanner is simply import the file like this you upload the file here and then we need three headers from your file the item name ean or upc and then your cost and once you've matched your headers with Profitil, you click upload, and then Profitil is gonna start scanning that file, kick back all the Profitil products, tell you how much it's selling, tell you how much your profit's gonna be, and then of course you can even scan it if you do prefer. You get 2,500 credits included every single month, and it really is a great way if you are looking to get into wholesale. But we do have a, a video which tells you a bit more about it just here. Now moving down to our apps. So we have an iOS app, an Android app, and a Chrome extension, all of these are included within the profitable subscription if you are in profitable light you just have access to the ios app or the android app next up you've got our support section so here's a link to our discord community which i showed you earlier here's a link to our help guides and we do have quite extensive help guides all about anything profitable amazon fba or reselling in general so make sure to make use of them then you've got a link to a walkthrough video which is just similar to this call then you've got the get in touch page so if you do need to reach out to our support for any reason you can do that just over here we do have fantastic support and we do also have a chat feature on the homepage on our website, which you can just find down here. Now back over to Profital and we're gonna head over to our settings. So first up, we've got notifications. So this is actually for the wholesale scanner. You'll get a notification once your scans are complete. Then we've got the Profital deal analyzer settings. So Profital is available in four countries, the UK, the US, Canada, and India. All of these are included within your subscription at no extra cost. So you can switch between these if you would like to. FBA inbound postage per unit. We'll be talking about this in more detail later on, but this is just to have a set fee in your deal analyzer. And then you've got a few toggles just here. Enable eBay data, exclude FBM sellers, small and light. Enable eBay data. This is to show eBay data on your Chrome extension. Having this toggled off will make your Chrome extension slightly faster. Exclude FBM sellers. Exclude FBM sellers. This is for the stock level feature. If you're only interested in FBA sellers, you can have it toggled off just here. And then you've got small and light. So if you are using small and light, you can have this toggled on all the time. So if a product does fit the criteria it's going to change the fees accordingly and then you've got VAT settings so this is only if you are in the UK if you are in the US of course you won't see this there are a number of different settings you can choose depending on your VAT setup and then finally down here you've got toggle features so on the Chrome extension you can turn on and off the different sections on Profitable if you're not interested in eBay data for example you can turn it off here if you're not interested in variation data you can turn it off here and this is just going to hide it from your Chrome extension extension just to make it a bit easier to use. Now moving on to the account page. Here you can see your email address, update your username and your password. You can also update the card you pay us with. So you do that just in here. And of course, as with GDPR, you do have the option to delete your account. If you would like to do that, you can do that just here. Now we're moving on to the billing page. So in here, you can view all your previous invoices as a button to cancel your subscription. You can also change your plan. Or if you can't see the option, you can just reach out to our support. But here you'll see all of your previous previous invoices as well. So that's the profitable website summed up. Next up, we're gonna run through the Chrome extension and the mobile app. So here we are on a UK product on Amazon, but it is the same whether you're in the US, Canada, or India. So this one here is 11 pounds 63. We'll just put in a buy price of five pounds for this product. And I'm gonna run you through all of the data. Now, there's a few options on Profitable about where you have it situated on the page. Personally, I like it here just above the buy box, but it's a bit easier to see when you have it to the 
right, but you can also have it to the left, or you can have it just above here as well. But we'll move it back over to the right just so everything is nice and large and easy to see. So first up, we have the ASIN or the EAN section. So this is how you scan the product. You need the ASIN in here. A product will always automatically load if you are on Amazon. So if we load a new product and we open the extension, what you'll see is Profitable is going to start loading this product for you. So we'll just wait for this to complete. And as you can see, it's loaded and we haven't got to type anything at all. If we are on certain large retailers in the UK and the US, Profitable will do an auto scan. It's going to try and find this product for you in the page all you have to do is go on any product and profitable is going to look for this in the background so you don't actually have to do anything it's going to bring it up here so yep that's that one there it's going to pre-fill the price so it just copies this data here and it's going to be automatically loaded so it's it's all just to save you time this is obviously not a good deal but that's how it works and you can find a full list of websites we ought automatically search just here so in the uk as the tesco so on and here are all the ones in the us as well so it's all the largest retailers it's all just to save you time if you do prefer to analyze your products on the actual source website as opposed to amazon so now let's head back over to this amazon product as i've just shown you the search the automatic search feature so in here is where you put your purchase price so we're going to say this we're buying this for five pounds just next up to that is the profit per unit now first up we've got the amazon data section so this is the amazon data the key information so we have the product name it's the mentions its weight brand the manufacturer the category it's in is EAN the ASIN and here's a link to view the product on Amazon here are the listing sales so we give a range just to be as accurate as possible Amazon don't provide data on how much a product is selling so we have to use a number of data points in order to work this out and this is why we give a range because really it does depend on the price the lower the price and more at sales so this does take that into account then we've got your buy price and your sale price and you can change both of these so this just mirrors up here but say you wanted to know what you're buying profit at four pounds you can put it in there or if you wanted to see what your profit would be at 15 pounds you can put it just in here and you'll see all the data points will change accordingly then you've got the review section so you can see how popular the product is on amazon now moving on to the profit and loss section on profitable so first up we've got the estimated profit per unit so this takes into account your buy price your sell price and all of your fees so here's the fee section inbound postage per unit which is what i showed you earlier you, you can have this set for every single scan so we've got it at 20p per unit you don't have to have this saved you can change it as you like then we've got the fba fee which is your fulfillment by amazon fee then we've got the referral fee which is what you pay to amazon just for selling and advertising your product on their website then we've got the vat from fees so this all depends on your settings on profitable what, what you see here and if you're in another country of course you won't see this just up here we have actually gone past this is the small and light so we have have this toggled on if this fits the criteria the fees will change so if we change this to nine pounds you'll likely see the fba fee change and as you can see the fba fee did change because it thinks that's in smaller light smaller light is products under 10 pounds we'll put this back up and you'll see that the fba fee will change you can have this toggled on or toggled off it is totally up to you on whether you are using it but we would recommend to use it now next up we've got the break even point and this is a really helpful data point and all it means this is the price you need to sell it for in order to get your money back so of course it takes your buy price your fees in order just to get your money back you need to be selling it for nine pounds and seven pence now next up we've got the return on investment this is your most important metric if we're buying it for 200 pounds and we're only getting three pound 32 profit that's not very good however if we're buying it four pounds and getting that that is great so this is why it's so important ideally we want about a 30 percent return on investment as, as a minimum it just gives us a lot of wiggle room on the pricing then moving down here is the amazon sales rank so this is how popular the product is on amazon in its category so all products on amazon have a sales rank or best sellers rank this is the 37,000th most popular product on amazon so the lower the number the more popular it is so our profitable rankings is a fairly new feature and what this does of a hundred and these are often many things you may overlook and it is just and help you not make bad buys so this looks at things like sales stock data the number of sellers any warnings how many variations on the product whether there's an ip risk and so on and of course this is just to be used as a guide you don't have to follow it 
but it is just fair just to give you that added peace of mind on a product. Now, next up, we have the seller data section. So this is gonna tell you all about your competition on Amazon. So we can see this product has seven other FBA sellers, free to FBM, and we can see just how much stock they have just by clicking that button. And you can also toggle them off. So if, as mentioned, if you're only interested in FBA, you can turn them off or vice versa. And this is really helpful because it allows you to see the types of sellers on Amazon listing, whether doing arbitrage, wholesale, and so on. You've also got links. So if you wanna view the seller's actual page as well, you can do that just by clicking the link. Now the next section is the graph section, and this is probably one of the most important sections of Profitable. It allows you to see a huge amount of historical data and look out for things which may not be clear on the surface. So you can view this time frame over 10 days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 180 days, a year, and all time. So we'll change this over to the last year. There's a number of different graphs. So we've got the price history graph, the sales rank graph, the offer history graph, the product reviews, and the ratings graph. So first off with the price history graph, see whether Amazon have previously been selling this listing. So it looks like we're okay. See if there's been a suppressed buy box, see if the price is high now, low now. And it really does help your understanding when looking at FBA deals. Then you've got the sales rank. So you can see how popular the product is. The more movement in the line, the more this is selling. Then the offer history, this can help you understand if there's a risk of an IP complaint. So if you see lots of sellers coming off a listing in a really quick succession, you know that there may well be IP issues. It means it's been reported. And then you've got your product reviews and the product rating as well. Now the next section we have is the warning section. So on Profitable, there are four warnings, IP risk, hazmat, oversized and variation. IP risk, that means intellectual property risk. It means you're at risk of an IP violation on your account, which you want to avoid. So if you do see this, be very careful. Then you've got hazmat. This means it's a potential dangerous goods. It might be something with chemicals in, nail varnish and so on. You can sell these. You just need to be registered for the dangerous goods program. Then we have the oversize. This just means it's a larger item. So your fees are likely to be higher. Then we've got the variations warning. And this is important because when a product is variation, it can look more popular than it actually is. So on here you'll see it says listing sales 34 to 52 a month that is for this whole product and we can see there are four variations and also the reviews it's got 148 reviews but these are split between the four variations that can make a product seem more popular than it actually is same with a sales rank as well that is split between the four variations so how do we know how popular this variation actually is all we do is we click view variation sales and as we can see we can see how much each of these variations are actually selling so this one we're looking at here this is getting 13 percent of the sales so, so it's selling five to eight units a month so with that number of stock we probably would avoid this product the most popular one here is the james deco one which sells 70 to 26 a month and gets 48 percent of the sales so it really is a great feature and it allows you to understand the variations in more detail now next up we've got the pricing sections this is all about the averages really so you can view all the different data over the last 30 days 90 days 180 days and the last year so you can see amazon price fba price the buy box price averages, eBay prices, how many sellers have been on the listing, the sales rank drop, the sales rank average, how many reviews has been, and so on. And as I keep mentioning, this is all just to allow you to make an informed buying decision. Next up is with eBay data. And as I mentioned, you can have this turned on or off. So this is only if we can get the data. So it will tell you the eBay prices, the current eBay prices, but you can also view the active and the sold listings on eBay. So you can see how they've been performing on there as well, because it is always helpful just to see how the product product prices vary across the different platforms. And then finally, we've got the notes section. So you can write notes about those products. You might write lots of stock and low sales. And low sales, you can get then give us a rating, great, good, average or poor. You can then save this deal and then you can review it later on in your saved scan section. So there it is just there so you can review it later on. So next up, we're gonna be running you through the Profitool mobile app. So this is available on iOS and Android within your Profitool subscription. If you are profitable light this is what you do get access to it works in exactly the same way as the chrome extension all the data points are identical it has all the same information the only difference is that it has a built-in barcode scanner so when you click the scan button just here what's going to happen is you can scan the barcode of a product so this is for retail arbitrage when you go out and about into shops scanning barcodes of products when you do scan a barcode it's going to pull back all the data and show you the key information so you can make an informed buying decision so next up and the final part of this video is deal finder and deal finder is a very popular part of profitable and it's our unique portal of thousands of potential fba deals and the key word there is a potential deal 
deals only. So the way Deal Finder works is we scrape all of the largest retailers in the UK and the US looking for a low price on the source website and a high price on Amazon. So if a product is selling for $10 on Walmart and that same product is selling on Amazon for $25, that will go into Deal Finder as a potential deal. So Deal Finder is not a checked deal service. We don't check any of these deals and that's how we get so many. So on this last UK update, there was 3,100 potential deals. On a US one is usually around 10,000. So there are loads of deals to pick from. This is capped at 500 users in the UK and 1,000 users in the US. So there are plenty to go about. But as I say, it's not a checked deal service. So you do have to still go through and try and find the deals yourself. We update this twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. And we have a channel in our Discord where we let everyone know once it does get updated. But let me run you through and show you how this actually works. So this is your deal finder portal. You'll have your list of products here. So this will be all the products in the update. Over here, you've got a list of your supplies you can pick from. So if you want to just see who's in Tesco, you can do it like that. Or if you are only interested in the baby category, you can do it just like that or change to super drug, for example. Then over here, you've got your filters. So if you're only interested in certain shops, you can do that. So you can select multiple at a time like this. You can put in a price. So you're only interested in products between five and 20 pounds sales, bestseller rank. You can also give your filters a name and then you can have all your saved filters just here. You can edit them, delete them and so on. Now up here, you'll see the export CSV button. So you may or may not know deal file used to be called deal sheets we just changed the name just because they're now in a nice portal but you can still export them as a, as a csv and view them as a spreadsheet if you do prefer now moving on to the list of products so we'll just show you this product here so firstly you can hover over the image just, just to see it a bit larger here's your purchase link with a pop-up or where it's from. So this one's from B&M. This is the Amazon name. So we'd recommend just to compare these two names just to definitely make sure they're the same product. Then you've got your ASIN link just here. Then you've got the estimated monthly sales. This is monthly sales, not total sales. Then we've got your cost. Then we've got your Amazon price. Then we've got your profit per unit. And then there's a the sales rank. And if you are subscribed to Profitable, really easy to analyze it. You can just click scan and that will start loading the product for you. You can click calculate and you can start analyzing that product. Now, some deals you may not be interested in they may have sold out they may be an ip risk you may not like that shop so what you can do is so you don't keep going over the same deals is you can click hide click hide like that and that's going to go into your hidden section just here now if you do want to unhide it you can click unhide or you can click unhide all and that also works the same way with the favorite so say there's a product say you've been scanning using deal finder and you see one you really like and you want to come back to it later on you can click favorite like that and that's going to come up in your favorite section over here and of course you can just click on favorite all if you're no longer interested in it so with deal finder we're adding new websites all the time we're always open to new ideas for website service so any you'd like us to look to scrape please do just let us know that is deal finder please note that if you are doing amazon fba finding your deals is going to be the by far the hardest part please don't be disheartened if it does take you that little bit longer there's lots of products you are going to be gated in there may be other issues with a product so don't get disheartened just stick with it and it does become a lot easier so that is profitable version 5 we hope you found that informative and helpful about all the features we do have if there are any questions you do have just let us know in the comments for this video or please reach out to our support info at profitable.app and they'll be able to help you but thank you so much for watching and we hope you enjoy the profitable platform